Hello and welcome back to more My Dress Up Darling. I am here with my reaction to episode 6. I didn't realize how weird I sound until I just started this video and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Covid, you guys. It finally hit me after dodging it for two years. I said this in my Attack on Titan, I think, so if you don't watch that, I'm gonna say it again. My first trip in two years since Covid began and it got me. And I'm not happy about it, okay? I'm not happy about it. I don't know if I'm just kind of getting over the worst of it now. I still feel kind of like crap, to be honest with you. COVID is no joke. Um, not that I ever didn't take it seriously or anything. I'm fully vaccinated times three up in here. And it still hit me hard. You know, I actually kind of wondered if um, I would have been one of those people who might have needed a hospital bed because it did, it hit me really, really hard. And um, I'm just grateful. I'm really grateful that I stayed stay safe. Safe. I'm glad I stayed safe for as long as I could, you know, and I'm glad that I got the vaccines. So health, everybody, never take your health for granted. Not that I ever do. I would do anything to be perfectly healthy, but hey ho, we're not here to talk about that stuff, okay? We're here to talk about the fact that at the end of the last episode, Gojo kind of fell asleep and he called Marin not hot, not sexy, not damn girl, <laughs> or any of that stuff. He called her beautiful. And I kind of explained why beautiful is such a powerful word world am i okay words come on world word when a guy or even the other way around or if anyone calls you beautiful it's coming from the heart right it is so powerful it's just susie you are beautiful and if someone says that to me, well, your heart just starts going just a little bit. And um, I don't know, I can't read Marine. I think she was kind of taken back by it. I think she was definitely not expecting it. She's quite goofy, maybe slightly naive. Um, I don't know what her feelings are towards Gojo at this point. And there's sometimes a point where I'm like, I'm not sure what his feelings are towards her other than he's very nervous around her and he finds her very attractive but is there something deeper there hmm something deeper than attraction well I guess we'll have to find out so let's delve on in I'm actually a couple of episodes behind because I I got sick and da -da 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 -da. um so I'm excited I'm gonna catch up today let's do it if you want to watch this video unedited, make sure you head on over to my website, suzylu.co.uk and become a VIP member. VIP members get access to all the videos early. They also get access to VIP only series. They get access to my VIP only discord. So nobody else is allowed into my discord. Only VIPs are allowed in there. And of course the VIPs will get a shout out in my videos. We have a VIP of the day, so I hope to see you over there. Kitagawa, you look so beautiful today. So he said you looked so beautiful today. It's, that's different from him coming out and being like, you are beautiful. But it's still nice. It's a really nice thing that he said. I hope that she doesn't like, um, not want to be friends anymore. Are you sure anymore. you want to do it? I honestly don't mind. Oh, totes. I'm the one who's sweating it, not you. Trust me, it's all good. If you say so. But let's wash it now. If we let it sit for too long, the sweat salt can ruin the style. Mm-hmm. I love the innuendos. Whoa! Warm water. <laughs> this show gets me every time. Does this look great? Yep. Oh, but it says not to rubber squeeze Oh my god, the freaking fan service! Next Dying. up, change the water and keep pressing. Then towel wrap to absorb moisture. And lastly, place it outside to air dry. Oh sweet, that's not hard at all. I was thinking it. <laughs> Be sure to hand wash the outfit too. 
It can develop sweat stains. Cool. Oh. Oh, girl. She is, is looking at him different. <laughs> Oh, she's starting to get the fifis. Love it. You say that like smuggling ladies' undies is normal. They were just stockings, right? Those are more along the lines of socks than underwear. Plus, it's pretty natural at that age. If anything, I'm surprised you didn't find more of a variety. <laughs> that's not helpful at all. Listen, isn't he allowed to experiment even though that's not the case? Sorry you had to man the shop alone for two weeks. Hi there, welcome home. Oh no no no! Don't collapse again. Wakana. Are we not allowed to have ladies here? Or what's what? I'm sorry about that. I hope I didn't embarrass you back there. Nah, I don't get embarrassed that easily. So I see. I just figured we didn't do anything inappropriate. Huh? I know. It was pretty obvious when I saw that. Still, weirdness aside, this is fine work. You made it? Yeah, but it's still a work in progress. Oh, really? You think so? It looks great to me. Oh my god! This is so nice, though, like when you get praise from someone that you idolize. Oh, and then there's all this. Yeah, I get oh, your point. Shit. It can't be easy when you're used to cutting straight lines. Mm -hmm. She likes it. Oh, shit! This 1,000% cannot be true. Am I really falling for Gojo right now? I did it! I did it! I did it! I like him, but do I like him? Do I, like him? do I love him? You know, oh, no, shut up! Mine, there's no way I'm in love with the dude who's besties with Grandpa. That doesn't work for me. You like that, though. I think family's really important. I can't be obsessed with the cute little <laughs> if only you knew what she was thinking. Why don't you stay for dinner with us tonight? Huh? Yeah, you're already here. Make yourself at home. Uh, this looks so good! Um. <laughs> Gojo, shut up! You're a good cook, too? You rule! It's not a big deal. I just learned how to cook because my parents are gone. Gotta eat something. I mean, it's kind of a big deal to ladies. My mom got sick and passed a while ago, so then it was just me and my dad. But when I got into high school, he had a transfer for his job. With him away for work all the time, I pretty much live on my own. Oh. I'm obsessed with this kabocha squash! Oh, that's squash. gotta be hard. Are you getting all your meals in? Yep, the convenience store is where it's at. <sighs> but I do cook for myself when I can. Check it! Natto fried rice. I got fancy with the fried chicken and wieners. Um, you are definitely getting invited over for dinner. A lot more. And you're sure you're okay? You get enough nutrition from that stuff? Totally. I also drink milk and eat yogurt every day. I literally just had a full thing of milk right here. Milk is Mari, God. why don't you start coming over for dinner from now on? Huh? You mind, Wakana? Of, of course not. What do you think, Kitagawa? For real? Is it my birthday? Oh my god, on the inside, she's gonna be like, I'm dying! Now they can get to know each other better, too! Oh. Dinner was totes amazing, and I had so much fun talking to your grandpa. Okay, now that it's just the two of us, whoa, I'm getting sweaty! Hey, Gojo? Yeah, what's up? <sighs> Oh my god, I'm actually freaking out over here. So, um, I'll see you tomorrow, right? Sure. <laughs> Come on, he knows that she feels a certain way. He's not dumb. I can't believe this. I didn't think that she'd be the one to fall. We didn't do anything inappropriate. Huh? Nothing inappropriate. Huh. <sighs> Would it be so bad if we did? And what if I actually said that? Well, then his granddad might have another bloody trip. Probably not the best to say that. He wasn't saying that because he didn't want to do anything inappropriate. He was just saying that to be respectful to grandpa.
Wait, who's that? That's not... No, that's not the same girl. What's a little girl like her doing here all by herself? Another friend of Wankana's? Pardon me, you okay? Why are you out in the rain with no brawly? Oh, I forgot. I was like, we hadn't even had the intro song yet. Oh my gosh. So she's starting to have feelings because he's just too good to be true. Um, and now they're going to introduce someone else into the fray. That's just mean, right? That's so mean. Because he's going to be so stupid, I bet. He's not going to have any... He's not going to have any idea that she likes him. And I can only imagine, depending on the age of this other girl, jealousy. Oh, it's just this is going to get messy. I'm going to head out. Okay. And you've got a friend waiting for you inside. Huh? Soaked down to the bone. So I let her use our bath. Be a good host. Make sure you've got a drink ready at least. Oh Christ, she was in like the shortest miniskirt I've ever seen. Uh-oh. It's so polite as well. If that happened here in Britain, it would just be like, get used to it, it always rains. <gasps> oh no! What if it's a con artist? Or someone trying to rob the store? Did they trick him somehow? Uh-oh. Is she clothed? Yo! Huh? A kid? What you? Oh God! Um. Okay. Okay. Hey, Grandpa. Hmm? How come this Hina doll doesn't have any hair on her head? Well, that's the process. We do their face and hair separately. First, we draw the face, then we apply the hair. Oh wow! I get it. That's why she's so silky smooth. Silky. Is this some fucked up reference to how a kid doesn't have pubes yet? How old is this girl? <laughs> okay, maybe not a sexual thing after all. I don't know why, I just assumed she was like 16 or something. Did you want to see something in the shop? Uh, yes, sort of. I want to see the outfits you made. Oh, that's it. She's into Hina dolls and wants to learn how they're made. How cool. She came here by herself, so I bet that's why Grandpa assumed we were friends. Um, no, I bet she wants to see the cosplay outfit. What do you think? Here we go. Might be All wrong. All I need is your name and your school's name. I'm Sajuna Inui. I'm a second year at Sakura no Miya High. What? She's older than me. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing, nothing at all. Wait, you said she was a kid. And she's older than you and you've seen her for JJ. Silky smooth. Here they are. <laughs> huh? You're welcome to look as long as you like. Yeah, she's after the cosplay, dude. She doesn't care about Hina dolls. Oh, whoa, but this kimono has Swarovski crystals and that one has lace. Okay, I guess these dolls are kind of cool. Thanks. We've got all kinds, both traditional ones and modern ones. Can I look at them up close? Of course. I want to know why, if she is older than Gojo, why is she acting like she's eight? Oh, you have to check out these ones over here. Oh. Is there any particular reason we're looking at dolls? I guess because this is a Hina doll shop and dolls are what we sell. I know that's what you sell. I was asking you about your cosplay outfits! Huh? Duh! How is it I knew about this and you didn't? I'm sorry, I don't actually make those outfits professionally. <laughs> you saw it, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> Earlier in the bathroom, when you barged in, you saw my... my... <laughs> That's I mean, I wasn't really looking at it. You're a baby dumb! That's illegal! Oh my god, what? There's no proof. <laughs> and if you don't want the police to find out, then I suggest you get to work. You're making outfits for Juju now. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Huh? That's so unfair. You were in his house. Her name is Juju. Isn't she offensively cute? I'm basically obsessed with her. I know that name. 
She's the cosplayer that Kitagawa said she liked. But is that really her? Huh? Well, she's not acting like a very nice person. She looks really young, though. How old do you think she is? Hmm. She might be in middle school or at the end of grade school. Huh? I saw that Marine Girl's cosplay photo going around online and... Huh? Who the heck's this? She tweeted that she was going to a cosplay event after that. So I went because I wanted to see her outfit up close. And then... And I feel like I'm about to burst! Yeah, you probably are! That outfit was measured Oh my lord, you you're like so creepy! When I, I feel like she set up this it, entire thing. I went a little stalker sauce and followed you home. I'm sorry. Wait, you followed us, you stalked us, you came into our house... And I saw your vagina! Wait, is Juju short for Sajuna? Look, I didn't pick the name, it's just... <laughs> Actually, Inui told me she saw your cosplay photos, Kitagawa. That's why she's here. Oh, she's gonna have an absolute meltdown at this goddess. point. <laughs> saw my pics? She looked at me! So I'm so confused, though. It's talking about, like, middle school and grade school. That doesn't mean anything to me. How old is she? I'm not here for you, moron! I'm trying to get hooked up with one of Wakana Gojo's custom outfits, so move! Oh my god, you have like the prettiest eyes. Something's wrong with you. Listen, she's a sweetheart. At least she's nicer than you are. I need you to make Shion Kaido's Black Lily outfit for me. What? Shion Tan? Wait, that girl you showed me? The one with the blue dress? Yep. Shion Tan from Flower Princess Blaze. It's popular with young girls. You've seen it? I don't watch much anime. Every time I watch this show, I want to just get into cosplaying. It looks like so much fun. She finds out that her older sister, Neon, is actually the enemy. But how could you? We're sisters! This flower is totally opening up to you! Xion, we know the truth is cruel. And the truth is, happiness doesn't last forever. <laughs> Our false family. The people who always look down on us. Was it truly who you fought for? Who you wanted to protect? Can I just get like a full anime on this story? Because <laughs> this looks awesome! Oh my god, the drama! Neon was originally created as an enemy after her flower jewel was tainted from the shock of a broken heart. It's so unbelievably tragic. Because she you does know her know. stuff. I thought impressive. she was the type that found over what's popular without researching anything about the original work and just cosplay characters because their outfits were cute. I mean, she does like to cosplay because the outfits are cute, but she knows like everything, okay? It turned Don't out touch that a big two of her childhood cover. guy friends were secretly dating. Huh? I mean, it's not officially written anywhere, but if you're paying attention, it's super obvious. Yep, 100% can confirm. The relationships <laughs> in Blaze are complicated. Mirai and Shion Tan are super in love with this dude, Sakuya. They actually hardcore fight over him. But Sakuya is totally dating Soma, so those crushes were doomed from the start. And let's not forget that Neon had it bad for Soma too. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. He's like, this is awesome. Listen, I like making stuff. I don't watch anime. I have to cosplay her. But even if you buy the official Black Lily outfit, it's super difficult to alter. That's why I want you to make a custom one for me that fits perfectly. <gasps> My sweet Juju is gonna be Black Lily? I would kill to see that! As you can tell, Kitagawa loves Shion too. She even has her all over her bag. This kind of goes to show how special Marin is though. Like, she wants more outfits for herself, but she's so happy for him to work with other people. What a queen! What the hell is happening? <laughs> so bad. She's exactly the kind of cosplayer I absolutely love. I hadn't heard of her before, so it seemed like she was just some idiot who didn't know what cosplaying actually was, but she does. She's really not some annoying bitch at all, and I hate that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry! Please forgive me! Why would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Is this what people are like, though? Where it's like, if you're new on the scene, they're like, who are you? Seriously. Give me your contact information. I'll send you more info on Black Lily and my measurements. Okay, sure. Don't get all weird about it. It's just so we can talk outfits. Huh? Get weird about what? You know, this whole thing. I'm not trying to steal your boyfriend. <gasps> uh, uh, what are you talking about? I'm not her boyfriend and she's not my girlfriend! I've never had a girlfriend in my entire life! She's just a friend friend. Friend friend. So yeah. I guess I was wrong. Friend, friend, friend. Sorry, bro. All good. I mean, why did he have to, like, react like that? <laughs> Aww. You don't have a girlfriend, Gojo. That's so sad. 
Is she making fun of him? <laughs> no, I feel like she's happy because she's like, I could be your girlfriend. So, uh, you know how I said I'd want to cosplay Neon from Blaze instead of Xion because I'm so tall and kind of loud? Yeah. I thought that now might be the perfect time to try it, like fate or something. <laughs> Will you cosplay Blaze with Haldo? <laughs> you shot me down before I finished asking. I know, like that's really mean. It's meant to be. Okay, I gotta ask the question. The freaking elephant in the room. How old is she? Like one second it's like, oh, she's older. Because I'm just gonna throw it out there, right? The whole bathroom scene is totally fine. As long as she is actually older than him. I mean, if he was 18 and she was 16, then I feel like you can kind of get away with that. But if he's 16 and she's 17, then that's absolutely fine too. Is she just short? But she is like, she's older than him, right? Because otherwise, that was really like kind of drawing the line. You know what I'm saying? The scene itself wasn't drawing the line, but it was the way it was overly sexualized. So if that is someone who is very, very young, it's a bit fucking weird. But if she is older than Gojo, then it's fine. It's just like a flirty scene. But they, they made such a weird thing about like how old she is, like grade school, middle school. I don't know what any of that means. Okay, that's not how it works where I went. So how old is she? And is she is like, is she of like, some kind of legal age because otherwise it's weird all right thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode and i'll catch you all in the next one bye